here we have the next quad build in the mini quad shootout. This is the Luminaire QAVR, or formerly known as Race Blade. Here we have the typical carbon fibre components, uh, arms, top plate, base plate, camera side plates, and a small little uh, uh, camera board camera plate, which I won't be using. Uh, now the quality of the carbon fibre is appears to be very very good. It's pretty consistent, and the machining on it is uh, is excellent. Along with the standard carbon fibre components, it has the aluminium uh, standoffs. These have got a nailed finish on them. It's quite uh, unique. I haven't seen it before on a quad. Uh, very nice. Uh, it comes with some aluminium hardware for the frame, so these are all the screws that hold the frame together. Uh, these are all aluminium M3 screws, very, very light. And uh, the crosses, the, or the cross here, and the braces that hold the arms on and the PDB in place are, uh, are also made of aluminium. It also comes with some aluminium motor attaching screws, M3 aluminium ones, uh, the M1.5 for the 1800 series motors I think in here are stainless steel probably. Uh, there's a little orange thing there for the battery pigtail where it goes through the frame. There's also some nylon uh, hardware for the standoffs for the PDB and it does come with of course a Lumineer 4 power PDB which is what I'll be using for all of the builds that don't have one anyway. Uh, some foam pads, landing pads, uh, an XT60 pigtail. It's supplied with uh, 14, uh, sorry, 16 gauge wire. I'll be changing that out to 12 or 14 gauge, I think, whatever I've been using for, my, for these uh, builds so that they're all even. So I won't be using it, but it does come with a, an XT60 pigtail. It also comes with a few cable ties, a battery strap, some stickers, and a foam battery pad with some double-sided tape on the back. There's the contents of the kit. Now to weigh the race blade and its base hardware. I won't be weighing any of these bits uh, because some uh, kits don't come with uh, such hardware, so it's really just a matter of weighing the frame with its uh, main hardware screws that hold it together and the PDB because some kits come with a PDB to be fair so 100 odd grams without the PDB and 106 grams with a PDB and the little nylon standoffs that hold the PDB on 105, 106 grams Now the dimensions of the QAVR race blade it uh, has uh, 100, it's 171 millimetres from left to right, both at the front left to front right and the rear left to rear right. Uh, the uh, front to rear spread is 132 millimetres. Now the frame was $115 US plus shipping. Um, the quality of the materials is, is good as I said earlier. Uh, has 4 millimetre carbon fibre arms a 2mm single 2mm base plate, it has a 1.5mm top plate and uh, the side plates in here are about a millimetre, not that they're really structural. Uh, aluminium hardware and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it uh, is reasonably stiff. Um, I'm fairly concerned about this area here it was designed for the arms to be easily removable, replaceable, uh, without pulling the whole frame apart. So you can just remove three screws and replace an arm. Uh, the problem is that without an extra layer underneath to sandwich the arms in there, I highly doubt whether you'll break an arm. I expect the, uh, the base plate will crack or break before any of these arms break, especially with the amount of leverage they have over that center area. So uh, they have somewhat remedied this with an optional X plate available from uh, the, the, the Get FPV or Lumineer store. And uh, I have, uh, when I bought it, that wasn't available, so I'd uh, bought an extra base plate, uh, which I plan to cut up and sandwich under there. But for this shootout, I want to have the frames as they come from the manufacturers. So provided this frame makes it through the shootout afterwards I'll probably uh, cut down this uh, extra base plate 
and uh, use it to sandwich the arms in place. Now for a mid-build update. Uh, things are going together pretty nicely. The PDB is spaced a fair way off of the, the base, so I'm using the, the excess space underneath to run uh, ESC uh, wires. Um, I've learnt a new trick uh, using blue tack to hold these KISS ESCs in place while I prepare the motor wires. So a bit of blue tack underneath, jam that in position and uh, now I can make up the wires to the power and uh, ground wire to connect the ESC. The uh, PDB has the 12 volt uh, Palolu on it, in fact I always tend to write that on here just in case somebody presumes it's a 5 volt. Uh, now I've also put some uh, header pins on here for the uh, output from the Palolu which is going to go to my LC filter which has already got a little pigtail on it on the inlet side and on here this will be the uh, battery voltage output to the uh, to the KISS flight controller, the voltage in on the KISS flight for the battery, monitoring battery voltage. Apart from that, everything else is okay. I've uh, prepared the uh, X4R SBUS receiver. This was one of the naked ones, so I've just put a, um, a lead on it. I'm only going to use the yellow telemetry wire here, and I've wrapped it in heat shrink, clear heat shrink, so I can still see the uh, bind LED. The flight controller, receiver, ESCs and motors are all in place now and uh, the only thing left is the FPV equipment. Here we have the LC filter uh, all wired up ready to connect to camera, VTX and its power source. Uh, just needs to be wrapped in heat shrink and uh, here it is in the heat shrink tucked under the some of the electronics at the front there ready for the camera to be mounted and uh, the VTX is sitting on top of the carbon fibre plate. The QAVR build is complete. Everything went pretty well, only one minor thing to report and that is that the camera side plate on this side was just a half a millimetre, maybe two thirds of a millimetre too tall and I uh, had to file it down just so that this top plate sat down flush against the standoffs otherwise it would have been bending the top plate slightly. Not a big deal, uh, but uh, another thing to report, I didn't use the pigtail that was supplied with it, the XT60 pigtail, because I wanted to use a heavier gauge wire. I'm building all the quads with uh, 12 gauge wire, which is probably overkill, but the 16 gauge it came with, I thought, was uh, lacking a little bit if this thing's gonna be expected to pull 100 to 110 amps. Uh, it has uh, the props fitted to it uh, and a VTX antenna and now we're next order of business is to weigh it. So the quad without battery comes in at 326 grams and with the battery, a 1300 4S battery comes in at 501 grams. Ready to go tune it now.